If you're in GPS steering mode, you can select the GPS menu by tapping the wrench button. From here, you can set up an AB line, set up a pivot, you can set up a multi line, which is a series of AB lines that can be swapped while on the main screen, adjust the amount of nudge per button press, adjust or enter an implement offset, change the system working width and adjust the pull-in angles. This menu is not available in older software. It came along with the version 2.160 or newer. The first icon highlighted in the center says AB. This is where we go in to set up a straight line, whether it be an AB or an A plus heading. Press the OK button to go into this menu. and It'll take you into our straight track menu. From here you can name your field And at this point, you can select the method of entry. So you can enter in uh, an A point and a B point. An A point and type in a heading. You can enter in the latitude and longitude of your A point and B point. Or you can enter in the latitude and longitude of your A point and then a heading to calculate your B point. You can also enter your working width. You'll notice there's another icon here that says MW off. This is a function called multi width in case you have a solution which requires various widths across the field. Below that you have heading. Here's where you can enter in the heading of a system. So for example, I can put in 90.1234 degrees. And from your A point it automatically creates the B point. Just to test this function, I'll do a lat long plus heading. I'll put 46.8 degrees and then for our longitude we're going to put in 96.84 degrees negative and you'll see here it automatically creates the B point. If I change this to say 70 degrees you'll notice it creates a unique B point. I can also go from that to lat long and I can change my B point and it will automatically recalculate my heading. Now my heading changed. <clears throat> to set up a pivot, select the pivot icon and press the OK button. From here you can enter in the field name. And from here you can select the method of entry. One option is driving the circle to automatically calculate the center of the pivot. This isn't very practical in a lot of cases because it requires driving at least two thirds of the pivot and in many cases uh, you're working with maybe a half pivot. There's also a set center which would require driving to the center of the pivot and pressing set A to set your center point. This again is not very practical since most situations won't allow you to drive to the center of the pivot. Most commonly you have latitude longitude. So your best bet is putting in the surveyed center point of the pivot in lat and long and then also you can enter in your working width at this point. If you have a valid center point entered you can press the OK button it'll save your pivot take you back to the main screen. Highlight the spiral looking icon and press the OK button. From here you can select a new job, load up a previously stored multi-line or look up information, all the headings of all your existing uh, multi-line paths. Our system can only store one multi-line at a time. That means if you overwrite or select new job, the old job will no longer be available. For a new job, you can select A plus a heading or you can punch in multiple AB lines. Here I can set my A point and I can type in a heading. If I want to set a second line for my multi-line, I would select start, I would select another A point, and another heading. If I hit start, I can select a third line for my multi-line here. Now I'm selecting a third A point and a third heading. And I can do this for up to eight lines. Once I've selected the maximum number of lines I want to use, I select stop, hold the OK button, and it'll take me back to the main screen. From the main screen, 
if you hit the right arrow key, you'll see that it is on multi-line 02. So I'm on the second line of my three lines. If I engage my auto steer and tap the sensitivity button, you'll notice that I can toggle between the other two remaining lines. What this means is the minute I disengage the auto steer, it'll switch from line two to line one or line two to line three. So I'll disengage the auto steer and now I'm automatically set up to auto steer off of line three of my multi-line. By doing this, there's very little downtime switching between passes. While you're auto steering, you can select the next path that you want to select on your multi-line. Select this icon if you want to change your nudge increment. Right now, by default, it's set to a centimeter, which is 0.39 inches. Go ahead and put in whatever value is desired and press OK to save. If you see here from the main screen, if I try to nudge, you can tap left or right and now your nudge increment is one inch at a time. Your implement offset is described in the installation manual. What this does is shifts the GPS system to the right or to the left with respect to direction of travel to compensate for a, a not fully balanced or centered implement mount. This is assuming that the auto steer system has been installed and calibrated where the receiver guides the pulling tractor track on track and this is just to compensate for implement drift where you have a guess row that's either wider or narrower than expected. What this value will do is move the implement to the right if you put in a positive number or to the left if you put in a negative number. If you for example have row spacing of 30 inches and the guess row to the right of the planter is 36 inches the system actually needs to move to the right by 3 inches to compensate for the difference. The effect is doubled when you turn around. In the case of the Reichardt system you would put in a positive 6 inches and what this will do is actually move the system to the right by 3 doubling the effect when you turn around. If you put in a negative value For example, 3 minus. This will actually move the implement and the tractor or the whole system to the left by an inch and a half. The next icon over is the working width icon. This value can be changed in the AB menu, in the pivot menu, or in this menu. They all refer to the same value in the system's memory. So as you can see, it's 39.9 foot, as you saw in the AB menu setup. Here we can change it to whatever value you want to enter. Save this value. The GPS menu with the wrench is for configuring the pulling angles of the auto steer system. Also you can dial in an overshoot or undershoot to guide and implement in a little bit more square. If you press the OK button, enter this menu, you'll notice you have an angle to the line. Self-propelled wind rowers I've seen as high as 75 degrees. I've seen comm lines as low as 20 degrees. This is essentially a play number for each machine. To adjust the value you can tap minus or plus and it adjusts what angle the system will pull into the GPS line. A lower angle will result in a shallower pull-in. A more safe lazy pull-in is another way to put it but may reduce the risk of overshoot. The bottom graphic is for undershoot overshoot for the auto steer system. If you want to enter in an undershoot, go to the left. If you go all the way to the left, you can have an undershoot of approximately 10 feet. If you dial in a value all the way to the right, the system will overshoot by approximately 10 feet. The actual performance in the field will vary based on engaged distance and speed. Most systems commonly will have it set at the center value, which means no overshoot, no undershoot.